All right, guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. And if you hear that alarm, you know that we're working on infusion pumps today. And today I have the newest infusion pump analyzer to the market, which technically it's not even on the market yet. This is a prototype still, almost ready for market, but we're gonna test out the IPA 3100 from BC Group just to see how difficult it is. Now, mind you, I have never looked at any instruction manual for this uh, device, and I have never gone through it and ran it yet. So this is my first time. The setup on the IPA 3100, we're going to prime it, we're going to run an infusion test, and we're gonna test the accuracy, um, given this isn't to be used as definite, because this pump is in for repair. I don't know what's wrong with it. It had some infusion. Uh, pressure sensors that were changed out um, and it needs a calibration itself so that's okay let's go ahead and run it I'll show you step by step how to prime it how to run it and how to drain it okay here we go we are on flow test it says to run it at 20 milliliters and 400 milliliters per hour we have 400 milliliters per hour 20 milliliters and an alarm of course so let's go ahead and proceed to the test. It says it's going to prime, so let's go ahead and connect our infusion set right here. All right, there we go, lure locks. Drain tube is connected. So what it wants us to do is to prime it. We go ahead and hit start, and that shuts this guy up. Meanwhile, it says, it's priming its internal chamber. Start the device under test to allow fluid flow. Once the drain line has no bubbles, press done. So right here, you're seeing in my silicone drain tube, you're gonna see some fluid and some bubbles come out. So I'm just running it until then. This is all automated, by the way. I didn't tell it to start uh, the analyzer. You know, you see some of the bubbles. It looks like that's it. All right. So over here, I'm going to pause. And let's see, channel select. All right, and I'm going to reset it to that 20 that it was looking for. I'm gonna hit done. All right, and we're going to hit start. That resets all my values. And now I'm going to hit start. Okay, here we go. So you can see the flow. I've set it 400 milliliters per hour. Mind you, this pump is not calibrated. Um, so there you go, it's keeping up at 400 milliliters per hour. We get two milliliters already. Yep, two milliliters are already infused. It's keeping up quite well. I can't tell you guys how much I love the fact that it's battery powered. <laughs> That's so fantastic. You can see that simple little priming procedure is all it took and from there it's, it's running, no problems. Okay, so let's see. Volume to be infused. I'm at 12.5. I am. Look at that. So mind you guys, this is a prototype. Um, there's things that could be changed between now and its release date. This guy is not on the market yet. I am thrilled that BC Group sought me out to uh, do a video before it even hits the market. Uh, that way there I can take a look at the operating system, um, its menus, see if there's anything that might need changing before it hits final production. Very cool. Let's see, we got seven left to go. At 400 milliliters per hour, this is actually a pretty quick test. 
and on these alarms remember that it has the kvo keep vein open function so after it's done with the infusion you'll see that these numbers will quickly degrade because it's no longer um, infusing at that correct rate so your um, average flow right there that's going to change real quick here as soon as it finishes up and let's see we have three and a half Well, you can see right there I was at 17 and a half milliliters so it's gonna be pretty accurate let's see what are what are our readings when it beepity beeps saying it's done we're getting close we're at four, 414 milliliters per hour that's pretty accurate and there we go 20.7 Let's go ahead and channel select pause okay and right here you can see the average flow as I was saying it's gonna change quickly and as soon as it beeps I should have hit stop that way there we could save our record exactly where it was at um, that was pretty good okay let's go up to home and I'm gonna do an inclusion test so let's go ahead and set this guy for let's say 10 milliliters Alright, and let's come back here, occlusion test, proceed to test, it says it's going to be automatic. Okay, so it reset everything, and let's do a start. Okay, here it goes, it's clickety clicking down, our pressure is building quite quickly, there we go. 10.2 was the uh, pressure that it ran at. Stop it. So it's going to save that result to our record. Pretty cool. Let's go back to the home. Okay, let's shut that guy down. Because next what we're going to do is we're going to drain this guy. In order to drain it, we need to disconnect the incoming. I've made that mistake before. Okay, so now we only have the drain line connected. And it says it is draining. Once all remaining fluid has drained, press done. So this process here is gonna take about 30 seconds. You have to drain it each and every time you are moving between accounts. Don't leave fluid in this over a long period of time. Definitely a big no-no for all infusion pump analyzers. And that looks like it's it. It's all air, it's the last of the fluid. And we click done. And mind you guys, it's been running on battery. I shut it off. Take a look at that. That is it. That's all she wrote on it. Okay guys, so that was the IPA 3100. And uh, it's a great little infusion pump analyzer. Definitely the device that I would want because it's battery powered and it's single channel, and if I'm going into a, uh, let's say a small surgery center, they have maybe 20 infusion pumps total, this is the device that I would probably want because it's battery powered. Just make sure that you maintain it, you drain the, the uh, fluids out of it every time, make sure that battery stays charged. And mind you, what you see right here is not the production version, it's pretty close, but if there's any software changes or anything, don't hold it against me or this video, this is a pre-production. And uh, I was very honored that they chose me to uh, do a review on it and uh, open feedback in case there's anything that needs to be changed. So far, it looks like it's pretty good. Um, I did do a couple mess ups, but that's because I myself have not uh, done infusion pumps in a long time. In previous videos, I didn't prime it correctly. I didn't follow the instructions. And it, it just takes a little step-by-step -step process. This video is gonna be live going forward. So anybody that has any questions about it, just follow my priming procedure. It was pretty simple. Just remember to stop your infusion pump and, and then restart your um, test on this guy. Other than that, worked pretty good. Uh, interface was beautiful. It was easy to use, and I think I could give this to a Biomed 1, and I'm pretty sure they could figure it out. Thanks for watching, guys.